Hello, 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 people. I haven't got my mic set up on this one, have I? Yeah, I have. Hello, hello, hello. This has got my old logo on there. Quite like that old logo. And then I'm just going to stick on some Spotify music just to have on in the background. Really excited to have a look at this game. Really cannot wait. And so copyright free music. Let's see what gubbins we're going to come up with. Yeah, people. I know. Well, there we go. Is that coming through for all you people? Don't think it is. Should be now. But I'm going to turn it up a bit, ain't I? I think that's better. Hopefully someone comes in very shortly and tells me that we are indeed working all right. So let's just plug this a couple other places. Where are we? PWS, there we are. And add the image. And then just plug it as well over on Facebook and then we should be all good to go people first time streaming in what feels like forever so hopefully this goes all right not sure how long we're gonna be on for just depends how long I feel like going for and if I wake the missus up so I am trying to be a little bit quiet Probably failing. And can I add an image? Yes, I can. And so we are good to go. Might also help if um, uh, if I load the game up. So let's go into Steam. Oh no, there we go. Even better. It's there on my desktop, isn't it? And so let's hope I've got everything working. Game's not loading. That's not a good start. That is... Oh, here we go. Just taking its time, innit? Just taking its time. And so, yep, yeah, we're on the right database. 20 seconds to go. And then we will clack on. Actually, let's make that a little bit bigger. Yep. Apparently I've not got any dropped frames yet, which is beautiful to see. And now, let's go. Let's flick the camera on. Hello, people. How are we all? It is Monday night. And hand mister. Hello, my man. How are you, fella? Hope you are all right. Is everything working okay before I get started and before I get rid of that image? Let's get rid of that image. And there's the game. There is the game. All the better for seeing your beautiful face. Thank you very much. I think I've got to add the music. One second. One second. Let's go back onto the other one. And let's see, what have I got it on there? Uh, music, I've got that on. 
So back in there, there's always something you've got to sort out. Bloody when you start a stream for the first time in months. Like music too. That should be on. Weird. All right then, there we go. Is that better? Can you hear the Spotify now? Whatever this awful music is. There we go. It's got to something decent. So, Han, how are you, my man? Thank you for popping in. How has your Monday been? And now, let's go and crack on and have a look at this brand new game, Pro Wrestling Simulator. Really excited to finally get a look at this. And so, just before I get started, I have got a real-world mod. Uh, the Rybolt very nicely gave me the one that he's converted over from TEW and FM Hammer you saw my tweets about Jaylings ah oh, mate I, I was wrong I was a very wrong boy I was so wrong about Jaylings he has been absolutely phenomenal since we've had him so yeah I've not streamed I've not streamed since my last TEW stream when was that September maybe August September something like that but yeah, I'm good. How are you? We're just having a look at this new pro wrestling simulator. Not sure if you've heard of it. It will not sure what you know about it. It's basically another version of TEW. It's not even out yet. It comes out next... Mm, over the weekend. Either Sunday or Monday, I think. I think it comes out. So, um, I've been very nice and very luckily given a key to this game. So... Let's go and crack on. Change your top? Never. Never, Han. Never, ever, ever. And so, yeah, like I was saying, we've got a real-world mod. It's converted over from TEW. That's not the right one. That is not the one I wanted. That's a good start. Yeah, that should note. War of the Immortals. Right, and please tell me this works. And so, go back onto that. Okay, and War of the Immortals, choose this DB. As you can see, this is the editor screen. You can't see my mouse. I was just happy for Link. I just want to see him do well. I hope you're not getting your, get your open league. Oh, mate, if, if, we, if we can keep him in the summer, I'll be very, very happy. He's been nothing sort of phenomenal since we've had him. And so, yeah, this is the database editor screen on this new Pro Wrestling Simulator. And it looks quite decent. Like, the database I've got is based off the War of the Immortals one on TEW. Uh, Dean Henderson and Lingard for Rice. Uh, no. Do not do not want Dean Henderson. Do not want Dean Henderson. Fabianski's decent. Fabianski is fairly decent. And so, anyway, back to the game. This is a database editing screen. We're on the War of the Immortals mod. I've got no pictures, no anything yet. No idea how to get it, get that going yet, but we are having a look here. And you can see here, again, it's very early days, so some things might be wrong. Like you can see here, AEW apparently debuted in 1980. But I think that's just because it's an Immortals mod. So it's got everyone ever all competing at one time. But I do like this. It looks fairly simple. Like you can choose like your book up from down here. All nice and easy, just to just to see who is who. So I like that. You can choose a personal streaming network in the editor. Uh, default announcers. So all things like that, and you can have brands, which is good because obviously you need brands these days. I think Lingard will be 30, 40 million. Not sure about his value. I've heard 15. I've heard you boys might be happy to let him go for 15. Which, if true, snatch that off. Snatch that off in a heartbeat. 15-20 is what I'm hearing. So, if we can get him for that, that would be an absolute bargain. And so, yeah, you can see, like, you can choose your popularity quite easily here for all different areas. 15, yeah, that's what I'm hearing from quite some quite reputable sources. Is that for his left foot? It's for all of him. It's for all of him. You guys are doing a madness and letting him go. 
And so, yep, you, and as you can see here, we've got some more areas than I think you have in TEW. Because you've got North America, who's, you've got North America, Latin America, which is, I'm guessing is probably just Mexico and that. Only one year on his deal, 15 is about right. Sounds right. Hello, Ronnie. Blast from the past again. How are you, Ronnie? I hope you're good. You've joined us as we are looking at the brand new Pro Wrestling Simulator out some point in the next week. It's, it's a brand new game. £15, $20 if you are over in, in the United States of America. So it's decent. It's cheaper than, it's cheaper than a TEW. And it is in very early access. Not even out yet. And I've got a key. Because I'm just that lucky. But yep. We've got North America. Latin America. Oceania. Asia. Oh, Europe. But we've also got Africa. So maybe that might be a challenge one day. Try and get the biggest wrestling promotion in the world in Africa. That would be very, very cool. Just before we do jump into the game proper, let's go down and have a look at the WWE in this mod. Because if you are late, you would have missed. We are using a converted database from War of the Immortals from TEW. And so you can see here, uh, America, WWE's popularity. 45 in North America, 26 in Latin, 302 in Europe. That's an early, that's an early error. That's, that's an early, early error. Let's put that down. 60, 65, I think. Put that down to, no. Well, well, they're not national, are they? 80, we'll go for that. I'm already making changes. And so, let's go and jump into the game proper. So, new game. Okay, I'm hoping that's something that's just popping up for now, just because the game is so early. But you do get an intro screen. This is the intro for the default database. Hopefully, that's not the one I'm using. Oh, actually, there you go. See, we're learning stuff together. We can make sure I'm using the right one there. And, yep, this is the default intro for, for the main database. Of course, they can't use real wrestlers in the main database, so they're going with that. And so I'll leave all that for you guys to read whenever you get the game. And so let's go next. And yep, we are on the right database. What company? What company do you want us to be? Because we are in the Immortals, like I keep saying. So any company ever, pretty much. So we've got AEW, we've got WWE, we've got, we should have WCW, if you guys want that. We've got, yeah, we've got WCW New World Order, WWF Classic, New Generation, uh, ECW, I'm guessing, will be in here as well. Yeah, ECW, uh, Hustle, uh, who else have we got? NXT, uh, Ring Kaka. TNA's Indian failed promotion. Ronnie saying WCW. All right then. So, again, no photos as of yet because the game's so brand spanking new. But do you want New World Order WCW or do you want Bog Standard WCW? So, uh, main event. Uh, Dennis Condry, Jesse Ventura, Rick Rude, Paul Orndorff. I think if we're going with WCW, we're going to want the New World Order, ain't we? So I say we go with that. And you can see here, a main event, Bill Goldberg, Hogan, Sting, Booker T, Bagwell, Benoit, the man whose name we do not dare speak, DDP, Eddie Guerrero. Yeah, we're going with this one. We are going with this one. And then you go next... And then in here, you can choose your photos for your profile. But one I have seen so far that I do really like. Who do you think that's supposed to be? Who is that meant to be? So I've got to say, I do quite like some of the photos on here. 
They are hit and miss for me, but they are quite decent. And like, and there's one, there's one. I think it's ah, oh, where is it? There's one I've seen for one for one of the girls in their default database. Oh, I can't find it now. I'll find it at a later date and I'll post it on Twitter for all you guys to see. But also the man photo that I have seen that I do quite like. Jesus, we are going to be Jesus, because why not? Let's be Jesus. And so we are going to say, uh, heal Jesus, because why not? Stream test, and then start the game up. Hopefully, yep, it loads immediately. How good is that? Even better than TEW. And this is the default home screen. And yep. So let's see. What have we got in here? We've got $25 million in the bank. Very, very nice. No active storylines. No default announcers. Zero active promises to wrestlers. Um, and 52 wrestlers, six personalities, three referees, four announcers, two backstage staff, and a partridge and a pear tree. And so, upcoming events. Uh, on, the, on the other save, I'll, that I did have a very quick look at last night, there was TV shows here. So I'm hoping I haven't got to set up TV shows. That would be a little bit annoying if that is true. But you can see here, we've got Eddie Guerrero's contract is expiring. I think everyone's contract's expiring in a month, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. That's a little bit worrying. That's something I might have to do off stream. But how about just for the first one, we see, we see what it's like to renew someone's contract. So where do we go? Roster. And then, this I do like. There's an actual search box for searching for people. And it does seem quite easy to find people. So that is good. And when you go on someone's profile, you can see it all on one screen. Their wrestling skill, their entertainment, their psychology, their safety, their stamina, their commentary. All of that good stuff. Intimidation, which I'm guessing is this game's version of Menace. And so, yeah, I do like that. And it's got its popularity in all the different areas and all the, the brain condition of everything right now. Their historical accolades, which is all very, very good. And so I do like that. I do like that a lot, how it's all in the one screen. And guys, as we're going along, if there's anything that you want to have a look at more in depth or any particular wrestlers you want to have a look at, any companies, please do just whack them in the chat and we will get a look at them. And so, Eddie Guerrero, is there any Eddie people in here? Mm, that's, that's not really Eddie, but it's a photo. It'll do. It'll do for now. And so you can see here his age, 33, his build, uh, what type of wrestler he is, how much experience, his character at the moment, and his bio. So that I do all really, really like. And so let's go renegotiate. Uh, negotiate contract. Can you t click on that? No. Okay. So, I'm guessing that's what he's on right now. He's just finishing a two-year deal. I am guessing. And so, how's the music levels? Hope your music levels are okay for everyone. Hope it's not too loud or too quiet. And so, let's go make offer. WWFA has made a counter offer. Okay, so 
How do I change any of this? Is that just how... Is that what he's coming to me with? And I can only say yes or no. Again, the game is quite basic at the minute. It's going to be improved over the next year or so until it gets its real proper bang-on release. So it does seem that all we can do is go cancel or make offer. Nope. Can't right-click. Can I change that? No. So, all right, yeah, so all I can do is just press that. Not quite sure what's happened there. Yeah. Okay. All right, and I think, I think we might have I've offered him 224 grand a month. Which is, yeah, a little bit worrying. And, yep. Yeah. Ah. I've got a message. One second, guys. He's on. The guy making it is watching. Okay, then. From the devs themselves. Uh, can you see? Contract negotiations are a planned feature. Always lurking. Always good to be lurking. Hello, my man. All right, then. So, that tells you. That's a planned feature. But, again, you can see the guy's popularity. What else is there to have a look at? My promotion. Development. No child promotions currently because we're WCW. Promises. Promises. That is something I do want to get into at a later date. Because I'm not sure if they're in just yet. But... They should be good. They should be good because you can promise people like to get a championship or you can basically do better promises than what you can in TEW. So that does look good. And then, oh, here we go. All right, then. So, announcers. What announcers do we want, guys? Do we want actual proper announcers or do we want ones that are going to be awful just for a laugh? I think we want proper ones. Let's go. Is Tony Savoni on here? Because I do love Tony Savoni. Yes, he is. We've got Tony Savoni. We should have Mike Tenay. Nope, no Mike Tenay, which is disappointing. Uh, Bobby Heenan, surely he's in this database. Uh, apparently not. Oh, who are we going to have alongside Tony Savoni? Because as much as I love Savoni, I don't think he can do like a two, three hour TV show on his own. That would not be fun to listen to. Oh, yeah, Tony Savoni, you've already got him. Hmm. Let's have a look. Who else could we have? Alex, no. I think Savoni is the only announcer we've got on here. Uh, da, 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 da. It does look like it. You know what? Raven. I quite like Raven. I think he'd be a decent job as an announcer. And so, update the announcers. Undefined and undefined. Oh, here we go again. By the way, known bug, already fixed. Announcers will show as undefined, but they are set. See, we are getting live updates from the devs. I love this. And so, yep, that is all right then. Thank you very much for that. And so, what else do we want to have a look at? Medical. We've got nobody out of action. That's another thing we could have to do at a later date. Drug testing rules. So, that is good. Uh, all workers. Let's see. This I like here. This little drop-down menu. You can't see it. That's quite strange. Okay. Well, you can't see it, but there is a drop-down menu here. Where it has like, a list of different things that you can filter people by. So, let's go Star Power. And then A Grizzly Bear. A Grizzly Bear is apparently up there for Star Power. 
fair enough. Hogan. And then obviously you've got Hogan, Rock, Big So, Bob, Sap. And Global. Then you've got Promotions as well. Let's again. Is there a filter on there? No, there isn't. Okay. But we have already added it. had a quick look at the Promotions. No news, no mail, and then office. And so, mm, let's go. Anything else we want to have a look at here? Or do we want to move on? I think we want to move on. How many days would you like to progress by? Let's go just to one and see what happens, people. And so, hiring workers. This might take a while, I'm not sure. I've never played this mod on TEW, so I'm not sure how long it takes to load up. But well, there, there you go. And so my promotion again, storylines, that's what I was looking for. And so, storylines, what storylines do we want to do, people? I think, have we, have we got Bret Hart or is he in WWE? I'm guessing Bret Hart is in WWE in this mod. Yeah. So you know what? We're going to do Goldberg and Sting. Oh, no. Don't want Kidman. Let's go Goldberg and then SSS. Where is he? There he is. It's Sting. It is, of course, Sting. And so you can put your storyline name here. So, Phenom versus Stinger. And go create storyline. And so there you go. And so that looks nice. With photos, that would look like a very, very nice screen, I reckon. And I'm guessing under here will be where previous angles and matches and all that gubbins will go so that i do like and actually one thing i didn't have a look at titles we currently have no champions so that's decent that's gonna be the first show we are gonna book all the champions all the peoples and so events have i got to create an event yes i do so event name easy Nitro. Uh, brand exclusivity. Nope. We're going to make it two hours. We don't want three hours. What's the longest one you can have? Oh, five hours. I bet if WWE thought they could get away with it, they would make Raw five hours long. It already feels like it is whenever I watch it. And so, normal importance, active... Every Monday. And uh, nope, that is required match. Uh, is that... Okay, so that's champion versus champion. Okay. So yeah, recurrence weekly. Create event. And so is there any kind of... Is there any kind of broadcasting like on TEW? I'm guessing not from what I've seen. Uh, you have one active storyline. I think we skip forward again. I think we skip forward again and we find out what happens. So again, skip forward just by the one day. And let's just see what is happening. Assigning pushes. Renewing contracts. And so, yeah, guys, what are you thinking so far? It is very, very early days for this game. But what are you thinking of what you've seen thus far? Please do let me know. As we are on Sunday, so there might be some pay-per-views going on. I'm not quite sure. Newbie! <laughs> Hello, Mum Han. How are you, fella? Evening, mate. Not stopping, but good to see you streaming again. Thank you so, so much for popping in. And yeah, yeah, well, as you probably saw on my Twitter last night, the developers of this new wrestling booking game 
gave me a key. So I thought, you know what? I'll stream it. I'll have a look. We'll see how it is. And it looks decent so far. But how are you, newbie? Hope you're having a good day. Hope your Monday has been all right. And Han, looks decent so far. It does. For a game that is still a year or so away from full release, it looks decent. Like I say, it comes out It comes out uh, on early access on Steam at some point in the next week. So that is good. And so news. Ah, here we go. This is where you get other shows. So WWF Attitude, How Dare Pay-Per-View. The show was said to be incredible. The highlight of the show was said to be Taker versus Rock. And like, okay, how's the missus now? Uh, well, she was. She was asleep. But now I'm probably streaming. She's probably in the other room hating me right now. So, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, she's good. She's all right. She's just had a little bit of a wobble this morning. But everything is cracking. How's, how's, your, how's your little family? How's things with you, mate? And so, yeah, I do like that. Just a little... Little quick highlight of the show. So that does look good. So yeah, and so Stampede of Hell Dare Show. Uh, House of Hardcore. House of Hardcore. What? The highlight of the show was Al Snow versus Frankie Kazarian. In what world is that a highlight? That must have been an awful show for that to be the highlight. And also, um, already noticed, two companies having having events with the same name. Not quite sure how I feel about that. Hopefully, more databases will come out. More show names will get put into the game. And all of that good stuff. Yeah, going right now. Little Man's 4. And goes to school in September. Wow. You must feel old. You must feel old, newbie. <laughs> I bet. That, I bet you'll be. I bet you'll be glad when it when it goes off to school. Get some more peace and quiet around the house, hopefully. And so, yep, news. We've got nothing else. I think we need to look at. Have we got any mail? No. Any office? And so, yep, let's just crack on again. Again, just go by the one day. And yep, we are on to our first day, I do believe. And so, come on, our first show. Hopefully, but usually at work, yeah. Yeah, I suppose that's it, isn't it? So booking events. Du, 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 du. If these if, if these streams keep going well, I'm hoping to get another two or three in at some point this week. Again, just still looking at this game. So if these streams go well, I might come back to doing FM. I might come back to doing FM. I know the mad scientist has got his database coming out soon, so I might stream his database like I normally do every year. So you never know. You never ever know. Let's see how these streams go. And so, oh, we, uh, WCW, the normal one, they held an event. And the highlight of the show was Vader versus Hawk. Bet that match was stiff, was, um, was uh, stiff, sorry. You still struggling with FM21? I'm very, very much on and off with it. I'm very much on and off with it at the minute. Like, I've got that journeyman save I blogged about. Haven't moved forward a day. I've not moved forward a day yet. I do really want to get into it, but just for some reason, I can't get into it. I've played a bit more of the of the West Ham one that I also was blogging about. The one where I joined West Ham from Rangers. I've played that a bit. Can't really get into that either. Can't get into that either now. I'm not sure what's going on with FM this year for me. How about you? Have you been playing much? And so here we go. Into the show. Uh, Ryan. I'm definitely looking forward to hopefully trying this game when it comes out. Ryan, it does look good. If you've only just joined, we have been looking at everything. 
We've been looking at everything in the game. It's still very, very early days. Comes out early access later on in the week. And then hopefully over the next year or so is when all the features will get added. It's only $20, £15 here in the UK. So it's an absolute bargain. It is an absolute bargain. So I think it's well worth giving a go. And so let's have a look at the filter screen as we are just booking our first go on the game. So a worker type. Okay, so you can do it by wrestler, backstage staff, announce. I like this more than TEW. What things do you like and dislike, especially compared to TEW? Uh, it's still very early days, but the, I like how this seems to be easier searching. It's easier to search for people. And that's, a, that's about all I've seen thus far that's, that is different. I like the idea of promises that are going to be coming into the game. They're not in there yet, but they, you can promise people like, oh, if you do such and such, I believe, I'll give you a title in a certain amount of time, or I'll give you a match against somebody. So that does look good. And newbie, I'm the same. You played one season in New Zealand, one with Sutton, and a few in a success and save. I've gone back to Gibraltar on FM20. Ah, oh, newbie, if I could find my Kings Lynn save from last year... I'd be back on FM20. Loved, loved, loved that save. Still a little bit broken hearted that I cannot find that anymore. And so you can do wrestler and you can do uh, wrestling skill. This is nice. How you can filter it by more than one thing at a time. I do like promises in 2020. They're a little different. Yeah, I, I do like the promises in TEW. But what I would like to be able to do is to be able to say, like, like I've still got my 2010, T, my 2010 TNA save going that I streamed a few months ago. I've still got that going. What I would like to be able to say is to go to like AJ Styles or something and say, oh, if you put over this guy, if I, I will give you the world title again in a few months, or use it for contracts. Use it for contracts. Like, when you're trying to renegotiate with somebody, I would like to be able to say, uh, like, say again, AJ Styles, just because he's on my mind. But if, if we're negotiating with him and WWE are also negotiating with him, I would like to say that if you stay with us, I will give you the world title or I'll give you the main event of Slammiversary, Bound for Glory, all that kind of stuff. The promises that are in there now are good, but I would like more stuff to be able to convince people to stay with you. If that makes any sense. And so let's go wrestling skill greater than 60. And let's see. Who does that bring up? Pretty much everybody. Okay. Let's try 90. Let's try 90. That gets rid of everyone. So we want somewhere in the middle. Let's try 75. And there we go. All right, then. So, you know what? Eddie Guerrero, because he's the only one who I've got a photo of. Oh, add match. That might be. That might help. So, that I like. I like that little transition there where it just flicks around like that. And this is the first time I've looked at the match screen as I'm playing it. I have seen a little bit of the Rybolts video from last night. And so, I've had a quick look at his. But this I do like. Again, it's all on one screen. It's all nice. And it's easy because you can just go drag Eddie Guerrero there. You know what? Just because it's a bit of fun. Eddie Guerrero. Actually, no. We don't want two heels, do we? Um, let's do Eddie versus Ray. Eddie and Ray always had good matches, didn't they? It definitely does. I'm doing an AEW file where WWE didn't re-sign a lot of people. She's able to bring in people like Sonya Deville, Walter. Nice. Nice, my man. Nice, my man. Yeah, I'm a few months in on my TNA save. And uh, it's not going well as anybody who's here who may have seen my streams from back in August, September will be able to tell you. We've been booted off TV. We're doing weekly pay-per-views again, just like when TNA started. But... But, 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 big news on that save, if anybody is here. 
I have been able to sign for TNA in 2010, The Rock. I have got The Rock in TNA in 2010. So that is that has been a lot of fun at the moment. And so also I do like this, how you can just drag and drop this segment. Uh, Walter was the winner of your Brody Lee Invitational. Nice. Oh, Walter, who's, who's your current TNT champion then? Or have you only just started to save? So you know what? How long do we want Eddie and Rey Mysterio to go for? I kind of want to say 18 minutes. 18, 9... Actually, you know what? Let's go 20. This is a... We're just mucking about today. So we'll go 20 minutes. And also, you can drag people here to interfere. So, uh, let's have... You know what? Let's, let's go Raven interferes and he screws Rey Mysterio. Let's do that, yeah? Oh, Tommy End. He actually won it from Darby Allin recently. Tommy End versus Walter. That will be a banging match. That will be absolutely banging. And this is where I like how you can see easily, you can see nice and easily who the best referee is out of the lot. So we're going to go Nick Patrick as the referee. And any other announcers? Ooh, nobody that decent. It's going to be Bissoff and Tony Savoni. And then Matt Gimmick. Somebody name me a match type and we'll put Eddie and Ray in that match type. What have we got? What have we got? We've got barbed wire matches, battle royale, bra and panties. Shall we make Eddie versus Ray a bra and panties match? <laughs> We've got casket, hell in a cell, chamber, death match, first blood, I quit. Um, Vince Russo's favourite item on a pole shall we Vince Russo it and make him have an item on a pole match or ladder you know what cruiserweight title cruiserweight title ladder match why don't we do that anybody up from that uh, you'll more likely be keeping the world title on Omega till he reaches either 80 months do not blame you do not blame you. That does seem like... That's not a good idea. I am loving Omega's run with the title. The, everything apart from that explosion aside has been amazing as far as Omega being champion. So I am loving it. So as long, however long you want to keep the title on him, keep it on him. And so yeah, we're going to go that for the Cruiserweight title... And then we're going to go Eddie versus, yeah, Eddie versus Ray. Cruiser, wait, if I could spell, that would be amazing. And you already know who's going to lose the title to? Ooh, do let us know. Who's he going to lose it to? Is it going to be MJF? Well, no, that'd be Hill versus Hill, wouldn't it? Who's he going to lose it to? Cruiserweight title ladder match. And so, yeah, 20 minutes. I think that looks decent. So, add that to show. I do like that little spin. That is very, very good. And then filter that again. Let's get, let's get rid of the wrestling skill. Let's go star power. Who's got the most star power? He's going to be losing it to Adam Page. You know what? You might be right. You might be right. I do think that's where they're going. And if that is where they're going, that is fantastic long-term storytelling. Back from their first title match, everything that Omega, that Page character has been through in the last few years since then. Oh, what a story that is going to be. So actually, yeah, we want to go there. Oh, I, I do like that. I've just noticed that. How just that screen changes. So you can search for people. Oh, that's very nice. How you can search for people and then it changes the match screen or the angle screen. Which actually, 
let's go back to that. Let's have a look at the angle screen. We've not looked at that yet. And so we have got angle participants. So actually, you know what? I do like to book backwards. So we're going to go that. And then we're going to see who's got the most star power. Then I think I'm going to have Paige lose it to MJF. And MJF loses it to Cody. Nice. I ca I, I'm a big MJF fan. I cannot wait for MJF to get the world title. His celebration will be epic when he wins it. So I cannot wait for that. And so, oh, what do we want? Do we want Goldberg versus the Giant? My ladder match has no winner. Thank you for that. Uh, edit. See, all learning new stuff. Uh, edit. Okay, let's see if I can delete that. Okay, let's delete that and let's go back and add it all in again. How do you choose a winner? How do you choose a winner? Right, let's let's get rid of that. Delete, delete. Uh, this stuff in the pinnacle stable. Yeah, the pinnacle stable is gonna be great. And so Eddie. Ray. And so yeah, referee, we want yeah, Nick Patrick's the best. Oh winner, there you go. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, Mataza. That's very much appreciated you helping me out there. And so win type, cheating, count out, oh, uh, ball, <laughs> finish. That I like. I like that that's in there. That is cool. And so back to that and then down here, ladder, ladder, ladder. 20 minutes. Oh. Yeah, 20 minutes. Eddie versus Ray. C R C R U I S E R Cruiser Weight. Cruiser Weight. Title. Ladder match. And so yeah, I, and so let's just make sure that everything is all good there. Oh. Oh, that's a new thing I've just noticed. You can make the screen bigger. One second, people. One second, people. Just while I sort this out for you. Do you think Arn will basically turn heel? No. No, I don't. No, I do not. I think he's good where he is. I think he's going to stay with Cody for as long as possible. That group does not need two managers. So yeah, there we go. That's a bit better. So that's better for you. That's better for me. Full screen wrestling booking game. That's my favourite feature. That is my favourite feature thus far. Be the same vein. Just Co Cody doesn't need on. Cody does not need on. But I don't know. It, I'd like if there was someone else for Arn to go with. I'm not sure who I would put him with. But add that match to the show. Winner, Eddie Guerrero, clean. Yep, that is all good. And so now let's go back to where we was. Maybe Paige. Maybe, maybe you put Arn Anderson with Paige. And Arn Anderson is the one who finally gets through to him. And gets him motivated enough to win the world title. Wouldn't mind that. Or, or just for the lulls. DDP, just for the lulls of Page and Page. I think Arne, yeah, Arn is better as a heel. Arn is so much better as a heel. But I'm just not sure what heels are in AEW at the minute, off the top of my head, who he could go with. And so, star quality. Oh my god, this is so much better being full screen. 
Oh, mate, if you're still here watching, bravo. Fantastic little idea, that. And so, yep, guys. Oh, that's, that's an old message. Ignore that message in the chat. You can tell I've not cleaned anything up in preparation for today. But I think... I think main event, Goldberg versus Hogan. What do you think, people? So, Goldberg versus Hogan. Uh, let's go... Let's go 10 minutes. I mean, can make QT... No, no. No, not even QT Marshall. Not even Arn Anderson can make QT interesting. I hate QT. Is, isn't he just one of Cody's mates in real life? Is that true? Is that why he's in the company? A 74-minute Iron Man match. Honestly, I think I think we're pushing it with 10 minutes for Goldberg. But you know what? Yeah, let's go. You know what? Let's go 13 minutes. Tony Savoni again refereeing. Uh, announcers Bischoff. Uh, how do I get rid of Raven? I don't. Fair enough. Yeah, QT, he does seem like a good guy. So just leave him backstage. Leave him backstage. Okay, okay. Are you ready? Are you ready for a controversial opinion? Controversial opinion coming up. Get yourselves ready for this. Okay, because I feel awful what's happened to him. I feel awful what's happened to him and his family. But do we need minus one on TV? I get it's good for him. I get it's him having the time of his life getting to hang out with uh, Tay Conti, I think her name is. He's having the time of his life getting to hang out with her. Do we need it on TV? Do we need it on TV? It's, it's okay on Dark and Elevation, but I don't really want to see him that much on on the main TV. The I'm sure he can have just as much fun being backstage and hanging out with everyone there. Do... I'm not... It was nice the first few weeks, but now I'm not the biggest fan of having him on TV. Sorry. And so what kind of barb what kind of match do we want? Do we want a barbed wire match? As that has probably just killed all my viewers. They've probably just left. Because I've just been horrible to a child. If it helps him cope with his father, I'm okay with it. Yeah, yeah, if he's helping him cope, it is an awful thing to lose one of your parents. I've not been through it. And so I can, I can see both sides. I can see both sides. It's not it's not hurting the program necessarily, but it's just not it's not doing anything for me watching. But it's not hurting the show. It's not like he's involved in, it, in anything serious. So I can see it. Iron Man match. So we do a death match. So we do a death match. See if WCW can do it better than AEW. Uh. Rumble, Scaffold, Submission, Texas Deathmatch. War Games is in. That's cool. I think... Oh, you know what? Hell in a Cell. Let's do Hell... Let's make it Hell in a Cell. You can't have them set a tag team. Do I? Yes, I do. Right then, remove. Goldberg. That's better. Thank you. Thank you, Rock Pillar. Like I say, first time ever having a look at this game. And uh, what are the messages that pop up when you hover over match types? Uh, can you see that? It says this type of match will greatly increase the risk of injury. And so it's basically explaining. It's basically explaining what those little what those little tips mean. So, like, let's let's try it for like the barn panties matches. Where is it? See again, high sex appeal. It's all good. I do like that because again, for anyone who's maybe hasn't been playing TEW or EWR or those kind of games for years, it's a nice little tidbit of information. Helps you out. 
So anything that helps new people out, I am happy with. And so let's go. Matt's purpose. Matt's purpose. This I like. Again, Matt's purpose. Still the show. Make audience laugh. Make history. And you can have it there. Make Hogan look good. Embarrass Hollywood Hogan. And make Goldberg look good. I think we're going to have make Goldberg look good. And we're going to have a winner, obviously, Bill Goldberg. And Agent Notes. What Agent Notes can we have? Ah, okay. And now, this, this I've just spotted. This match should contain a major stunt. We have that in TEW, but it tells you how much it costs. If I'm if I'm remembering rightly, TEW doesn't do that. TEW doesn't do that. Uh, this match should contain a major spot. Uh, what else have we got? And and you get the price for the elaborate entrances, and you can set it in the match so it's not its own angle. That I do really like. And you know what, let's have the match to contain a major spot. Let's see if everyone's happy with that. And also, titles. Are they up here? Yes, they are. So, WCW, NWO, World Heavyweight, Vacant. And then, add match to show. And then, I think, can I move that up there? Yes, I can. And so, I think, first angle, we have Hogan and Goldberg. And so this I like as well, because I do get confused sometimes on TW what to rate people on. And so just having it nice and simple here, talking, attack, or video package, that's very nice. And again, it's got the same things here. Angle should contain special effects, major spot, and a stunt. And it tells you again how much they are. So I think we have 10 minutes. No, I don't know, not 10 minutes because the match isn't going to be that much longer than that. Let's have 7 minutes. 7 minutes talking. And is there anything else we can add in? Uh, nope, I think we could just like that. And that goes down at the bottom there. So, so far, I am liking this. And now, filter. Can I just get that clear? Filters. And so, tag team titles. Uh, can you search by teams? Well, actually, this is well I like. How you can still go back to everything else. And still be on the on the booking screen. Oh no, what have I done? Nothing. I've done nothing. Phew. Alright, and so you know what? Harlem Heat are both the Steiners in here. Because if they are, we're gonna do Harlem Heat versus the Steiners. They are. And what about Stevie? Yes. All right then, that is going to be the one. Uh, add match to show. Back to booking screen, okay. And so, yep, here we go. And so, I do I do like how it's just nice and easy. Just dro drop, drag a drop. And so, book a T. Oh. Right, and so, book a T. And then, if I want Stevie... To be his partner. Drag him there. Nice. That I do like. And like. Can you do multi-selection? I'm guessing you can't. But. No bother. Because this is a lot quicker. That is a lot quicker than what it would be. In TEW. Because it's nice and easy. Drag and drop. Just don't worry about it. 
And again, titles. Uh, they're, they're missing the championship here, boys. Not sure who made this database. But, uh, but uh, the old tag team titles appear to be missing. No bother. So again, let's add Bischoff. Uh, Matt Gimmick. I think leave it as what it is. And then go 16 minutes for that. Uh, win type. Yeah, clean. Winner. Booker T. Just because I'm a big, big Booker T fan. And again, match purpose. Uh, still the show. Still the show I think we're going to go with. And then agent notes. Yep, nothing new there. So, yeah, maximum, yeah, we'll just leave that at that. And uh, Harlem Heat versus Steiners. And so I'll put that there. How much longer have we got to book? We've got an hour left to book. Okay. So add filter. Uh, let's go. Have we got, yo? Know, have we got like, I don't know, I would like it if there was a, an option for like, for like worker type, like technical high flying, uh, technical high flying. What else is there? Brawler, brawler, big man, you know, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully that might come in later. But let's go star power. And okay, and so I'm just trying to think who might be good at around 50. We haven't got Benoit in a match yet, so we're gonna do that next. Okay, that's well, I changed that, but that again is still easy to change. And if there is, like I say, if there's anything else any of you guys want to have a look at. Please do tell me. Uh, Alex Wright, Bill Goldberg. Who should we have Benoit have a match against? Uh, Perry Saturn. I think we'll do Benoit against Saturn. That I like. Uh, what is Hyde Teams? Okay, so. Like you see there. But it, right now, you can add partners, but if you don't want to do that, I'm guessing in case you don't want to accidentally make someone a tag team, like someone else did at some point. I'm off now, mate. Hope to speak again soon. Definitely, mate. Message me. Message me at some point, newbie. Thank you so much for popping in. It's so much appreciated. Thank you so much. And so, yeah. So, you can't make people tag team partners by accident. So I'm guessing now if you can just go like add opponents, add opponents, add opponents. I wonder how many people you can have in one match. Uh, quite a few apparently. So yeah, Benoit versus Perry Saturn. Uh, announcers. Why is why have we have no announcers on it? Okay. And then match gimmick. Yeah, you know what? Fit them to. I quit. I quit. I do quite like that idea. And I love these little bits under the match types. Where it tells you what that's going to do for your certain characters. That is just so good. And so winner, uh, Chris Benoit. Win type. Uh, let's make it... Is he a heel? Yeah, we'll have it by cheating. And the match should contain a major spot. So yeah, as I'm getting used to this game, it is very nice to use. It's very easy. And so, that for the United States title. And so, it says there we've only booked 57 minutes. Oh yep, okay, I'll see you now. Because I've made that a one minute match. Which is not what you want. Let's make that 25 minutes. And so, 39 minutes left. Uh, DDP. 
Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys, if you heard that. Uh, let's see. What level is DDP on here? He's a, he's a mid-hard guy. So, uh, can you filter? Can you filter by push? Uh, duh, 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 duh. Uh, push. Yes, you can. Oh, actually, status. What is status? Oh, that's just active, unactive, any of that stuff. I do love how Africa's in here. Africa is definitely one I'm going to have to try and make the biggest wrestling country in the world at some point. That is just so good. So, yeah, push. Let's go up a mid card. Who is up a mid card? Uh. Goldberg, Hogan, Sting. We, we haven't got Sting yet. We don't. Oh yes, DDP versus Sting. Uh, let's go them two in a in a first blood match. Let's do first blood. And let's go. How many? We've got thirty nine minutes left. Let's do 18, and then we'll do one more match. And then we'll see how it goes through the show. So, winner. Sting. Win type. Clean. Uh, Agent notes. Uh, both should have an elaborate entrance. So, there we go. Let's put that. Let's put that there. Then 21 minutes left. Uh, duh, 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 filter. Let's go. Have we got any other mid card guys? We have no mid card guys. That's interesting. And so, uh, what I would like to see here, you're not changing your top yet. <laughs> no, not yet. Never had. Never, ever, ever had. Although, yesterday, after that game, I was surely tempted. What a stressful game that was yesterday. Oh, my days. And so what I would like is... I'm not sure if there's a way here to go... Like like on TEW, where you can tell if someone's already been booked. I would like to be able to, be able to filter them by that. But I can't see anywhere here where it might say that. So it's status... Yeah, that's not. Yeah, but that's something that again might come free, might come through at, at a later date. How can you lose a free or lead? Oh, I know, I know. But it sums up, it sums up why I know more about being a West Ham fan than Abby. Because Arsenal scored first one, and I knew, I knew we were screwed. I knew we were screwed. But she was going, "It's only one. It's only one." But I was like, no, it's us and it's Arsenal. We was never going to win that game once they scored that first goal. And so, who else have we got here who's not wrestling yet? You're wrestling, you're wrestling, you're wrestling, you're wrestling. You're not. Do we do an Outsiders match? Do we do an Outsiders match? I think we do. I think we do, people. So... Nas and Scott Hall uh, versus uh, what faces have we got? I think. Oh, I'm not sure. Like the giant, I know he's not. Oh, it does say. I've spotted that. It does say. You can't see it because my head's in the way. Let me move myself. You think the booked ones are yellow in the list? Uh, you're right. You are right, Metaza. Thank you for that. Yeah, because if I move my head out of the way, you can see, like, on CV Ray, it says booked. Oh, and you can click on their details here. So you can see their contract here. That's a lot nicer. That's a lot, lot better than TEW. So that I do like. 
And so we want the Outsiders versus the Giant and... Uh, any ideas, people? Any ideas? You know what? Billy Kidman. It can be... Yep, the Giant and Kidman. Why not? Why not? So, drag to have interferers or ringside workers. Is there anybody here who was part of the NWO back in the day? Uh, not really. Oh, but that might be because I've got it set to face. That might be the reason. Uh, Scotty Riggs, he was part of the NWA, wasn't he? But he, he was only an enhancement talent. You need to be registered as a licensed sponsor. Um, Horace Hogan. Why don't we have Horace Hogan interfere? New employees from outside the UK. I see no... Uh, off, he's only an announcer. Find out everything you need. I really am thinking about this way too much for something that is just a jokey look at a, at a game. It's like Scott Steiner interferes. Nope, okay. Well, well, not ag. Oh, go there. Behave. Okay, so announcers again Bischoff and Savoni. Uh, match gimmick none. We'll leave it to none. Uh, match result uh, Kevin Nash, win type. Uh, yeah, cheating. And uh, Scott Steiner should interfere in the match. Uh, you haven't booked as a freeway, do I? Yes, I do. So, alright, so that's interesting. You can you can have a tag team against one man against one. That is some that is some Vince Russo booking there. Thank you guys. And so Billy Kidman. That's better. That is better. Yep, Steiner should interfere. Uh, winner, Kevin Nash, by cheating. And yep, Bischoff and Savoni. And I want just to get this done. 21 minutes. Add that to the show. I, th I think put that after the Cruiserweight title match. And so, what do you think, guys? What do you think? That is certainly an interesting show. And so I'm just going to put myself back around the other side. Just so you can see here. All right, and let's go start show. Oh! So, um... Okay, what's, what's that 100% about? I'm quite happy about the 100%, but... Oh, have I... I've done it the wrong way round, people. I've done it the wrong way round. <laughs> We've already had a Goldberg versus Hogan match right at the start. That's something to remember. That is something to remember. But anyway, three and three quart stars for Goldberg versus Hogan. A major spot brought the match to another level. Hogan was struggling for breath by the end of the match. Intimidating presence of Goldberg added to the match. And there was apparently no referee. <laughs> oh, not a good start. That that If that isn't the dev having a go at me for being a Muppet now, I don't know. Nope, that's somebody. So somebody was that's somebody just messaging me now. Oh, if you're still here, mate, I've just seen your message on Twitter. Giving you a key was worth it for the bug hatching alone. Got to give you a QA credit, mate. I would love a QA credit. That would be beautiful. So yeah, lack of referee, and then. Uh, next segment. So three and three quarter stars for Goldberg against Hogan. Three and a half stars. 
for Kevin Nash and Scott Hall versus the Giant and Kidman. And yet yeah, the power of Nash, star power of Nash added to the match. Kevin Nash was struggling by the end, as was the Giant. We had a referee for this one. We finally had a referee for this one. And so, Eddie versus Ray, Cruiserweight title ladder match. Before I do it, I want some predictions. What do we think this is going to get as far as ratings? We've already had a three and a half star match. And what was... Can I go back to what Goldberg was? No, but that was like three and three quarters, wasn't it? So what are we thinking? Eddie versus Ray ladder match. Somebody give me a prediction and then we'll go and find out what happens. And also, I do like it on this screen here. Where it tells you who wins and how. I don't think we haven't got that on TEW. So I do really like that. It's nice and easy to see all at one go. So Han's saying six stars. Mataza is saying four and a half. What are we getting? Oh, oh, oh. Four and three quarters. Mataza was close. Mataza was so close. <laughs> there was no referee again. There was no referee again. Note for future. Bloody well make sure there's a referee. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, my days. If it had a referee, it might have got five stars. Oh, well. Uh, the crowd enjoyed the special entrance of Sting versus DDP. Referee. We had a referee in this. One of stars ignores final score. Possibly. Possibly. I'm I'm not quite sure what the difference is. Like, is it wrestling quality only? Maybe. Maybe. I'm not quite sure what the difference is. So, I'm going to have to message the guy after this stream, which is going to be finishing any minute now, by the way. And so, and so, yeah, I've got to message him and find out just what the difference is between the two numbers. But yep, yeah, Sting and DDP gets three and three quarters. Uh, Matt's good on a better commentary. Of course it could have. And then, oh, 83% and three and a half stars. And the overall level of wrestling ability wasn't there to steal the show as Harlem Heat beat the Steiners. And yeah, star power Scott Steiner added to the match. That's that's okay. I uh, maybe I sit to the wrong to the wrong booking notes. And now Benoit versus Perry Saturn again. Get get your predictions in. Because Benoit versus Perry Saturn, 25 minutes, should be good. I like both of them guys as wrestlers. Obviously, can't say much about Benoit these days. But in the ring, they're both very, very good. So I hope they get something decent. Mataza, again, is going with a four and a quarter. Next segment. Four and a quarter! <laughs> Mataza, you've done it. Mataza has got it spot on. He who shall not be named. Exactly, Han. Uh, Benoit, the major spot brought the match to another level. Perry Sutton was struggling for breath by the end of the match. And a lack of referee again. Oh. Um, again, mate, if you're watching, maybe... Maybe have like a little thing, if you can, have a little thing pop up and say, Oi, idiot, you haven't got you haven't got a referee. You 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 look like Delorious Ed? Never heard of him. Never heard of Delorious Ed. Who is that? And Han Mister. Alright then. Just before we finish the stream, Han Mister has redeemed the Randy Savage impression. So get ready for something special. This is going to be something like you've never heard before. One second while I clear my throat. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, hiccup, hiccup then. 
take two. Oh, oh. Why can't I do it without, without hiccuping? Take three. Oh, no, no. I'll take again. Oh, yeah. I'm the Macho Man. Windy Savage. Oh, yeah. The cream, it always raises to the top. Oh, yeah. Dig it. Oh. And Elu, I'll give you a sign if you say Palace is the best team in London. There, I said it. There, I said it. Sup, please. And so, last segment, which was supposed to be the first one of the show, as Randy Savage. Mm, can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh. Okay. Oh, you know what? I like money. I, I cut a promo. Cut a promo saying Palace are the best team in the world. Oh, can I do it to myself? Can I do it to myself? Uh, and, uh, can I do it to myself? That was just, that was just the, the older developers of the game again. The thing with the, with the referees going, that's being fixed tomorrow. So fantastic. It's fantastic that I've been able to help out with this. And so on. Right then. Oh. Right then. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, I'm a chill man, Randy Savage, I'm here in South London, yeah, I'm a big, big fan of Crystal Palace, you know they play in those stripy kits, they got Wilfred Saha on the wing playing for them, oh yeah, they're gonna rise to the top, cause the cream always does, you know, dig it, they're gonna be so good, they're gonna be so good in the championship, oh yeah, macho man, Randy Savage, it's saying go support Crystal Palace. Oh yeah, dig it. Eagles will rise, you know, cause Macho Man knows. He knows about these things. He knows what's good. And Crystal Palace, they are good. Oh yeah, dig it. Oh. How was that? How was that? And so, yeah, last segment. That was terrible. Sounds about right. Sounds about right for my Macho Man Savage. It might not show up. I've, if you are going to sub, thank you very much. I'm not sure if it's going to show up. I'm not sure I've had any alerts working today. There it is. Okay, it's not showing up, but it is there. Thank you. Thank you. Ed I don't even know how to say your name. I'm going to call you 89. Thank you, 89, for subscribing with the Twitch Prime. Very, very much appreciated. And so, last segment. 100%. No stars. And hi, mister. Thank you for giving 89 a shout out. What, what do you stream? Do you stream? If you do stream, please do let us know what you stream and what you do. And I'll try and check you out at some point. But with that 100% final score for what was supposed to be the opening segment of the show, that is where we are going to leave it. And oh, I like this. I like this a lot. This is a lot cleaner than on TEW. Because again, move myself out of the way. Uh, where am I? There I am. You can see down here, we've gained popularity in all the different regions. So you can see, like, so rating of 87%. We've gained popularity everywhere. But you can see in what regions we have gained. And so I think that is going to be the end of that. And I do like how it's all nice and clean, the results up the top here. So just stick myself back in the corner. And, yeah. That is good. I like that. For my first look at a brand new game, I do really, really like that. That is good. And so, yep, there we go. All right, guys. That is where we're going to leave it for today, guys. Just a quick first stream back. Just to have a look at the brand new game. I've really enjoyed this tonight. I was a little bit anxious about streaming. I'm not going to lie. First one in months. But that has been a lot, a lot of fun. So thank you everybody.
I'm gonna be back at some point in the week. When I don't know, I'm not sure. And also, I haven't done this in months, so I'm not sure if this is gonna work or not. There you go. That is the best place to find out when I'm gonna be streaming next. Go and give me a follow over on Twitter. Like I said, I'll be back at some point in a week. I'm not sure when, but thank you guys oh so much for checking me out. We raiding? If anybody's got someone they want me to raid, I've got no idea how many viewers I've got. So I'm not so I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm not sure if it's worth raiding. But if you do want me to raid someone, first person to give me a name and we shall raid. So has anybody got a name for who we can raid? Is there anybody else playing any type of TEW or anything like that? Uh, the Young Boomer. Okay. So let's do that. Let's copy and paste that name. And copy. And guys, if you go over there, give it the old hashtag bad jokes raid. And so I think that's working. And so guys, thank you very, very much for watching. I'll see you again at some point in the future. Bye.